All right, Friday Fundamentals. And so the question we have is, what happens to a revocable living trust during divorce? Honestly, not much. Uh, it just goes away. Um, the law for divorce deals mainly with community property law here in California. So community property is split, separate property remains with the owner of the separate property. Um, even though all those assets are held in a revocable living trust that has planning for death and, and incapacity, um, that's all going to change. So usually in the divorce decree, uh, any revocable living trust will automatically be revoked. Uh, and so there is some planning that needs to take place, um, but the, the revocable living trust actually just goes away. Um, the planning that you want to look at is one, making sure that those assets do get transferred to the right people that they create a new revocable trust, probably an individual one for themselves, make sure that those assets get it uh, funded into that trust properly. And then also with any accounts that have death beneficiary designations, where the spouse is named as the death beneficiary, uh, you'll want to get those updated very soon because that is a law that says uh, the financial institution can only pay it out to the written death beneficiary. So if it's your ex-spouse, it's going to your ex-spouse and a divorce isn't going to change that. You got to actually go and have that death beneficiary changed on the account. Um, so there is some planning that needs to happen, but the revocable living trust just gets revoked.